What is going on, everybody? We're back on it. Chainsaw Man episode two. Uh, a lot going on, <laughs> like with any series when you just start it, trying to understand the semi power systems. They've introduced devils and devils being able to give humans power, but it looks like it's more of like a parasitic thing where like the humans don't really seem to be gaining or benefiting from the power and the devils can just kind of I guess maybe amass as many numbers as they want. I don't know it's kind of it'll be interesting to see kind of the devils and what they or what their purpose is in the world as we kind of go through um I was thinking about it like right when I finished episode one it was very 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 Jujutsu Kaisen episode one vibes I felt like I was like you know granted different little thing here or, you know different characters and that type of stuff but very similar formula of episode one of kind of like introducing us to the character him kind of fusing borderline on death store fusing with the demon devil um coming back as this like hybrid thing that doesn't seem to be normal and then the agency that hunts down the things brings him in to work for them but is like with our man here denji i think was his name is he really actually truly working for them? Are they just using him? And is it kind of like a um, Jujutsu Kaisen thing where at like any moment if they feel like he's not controllable or working for us, they'll look to kill him? I'm curious kind of how the relationship's going to be when he's brought in. And I'm sure the people from the opening like Jujutsu Kaisen, he's going to kind of form his little group. But I wonder if like the higher ups are not going to agree with having like this half devil, half human hunting devils for them can he be trusted where did his allegiance lie um which is very very strong jujutsu kaisen parallels um you know when the his pikachu <laughs> would we saw that when it morphed with him and he came back he had his eye so did, like is everything fully ready to go like he's got his eyes got skinny is his heart no longer because he mentioned his mom you know, she had like a heart condition and we saw him coughing up blood and mention it. Is he now free of that as well? Um, and I'm just curious, like he went from essentially being in debt to one owner. Now he might be in debt or working for another owner. It's just a different owner. Um, we'll see how it goes. Also, YouTube was not having me react to the <laughs> opening. Took out all the audio, faded it out. They were not having it at all. So I'm not going to be able to put the opening in. Just know that I have reacted to it. And I thought the animation of the episode was some of the best I've ever seen across any anime. It just kind of has that, like, I praised a lot of the Jujutsu Kaisen opening. How it kind of had, like, the 3D on a 2D world. Looks dope. We'll see if that's just for episode one, or do they keep it up during the entire thing? We'll find out. Crazy eyes. He's, he's just sitting out there with that pulley on his chest. What does it mean to be in your care? Mm -hmm. This is just what I was talking about. He's not working with them. He's working for them. He's a tool for them. She's not. Yeah. Yeah, not anymore. There's no partnership here. Yeah, she's he's her property. Mm. I don't like that. Mm. So he better say yes or wolf bark like a dog. I to say, if you're at least going to own me, at least pay for me. I don't know. My, the verdict's still out on her. We'll see. We'll see. The, the verdict, it's still TBD. TBD on her. We'll see. And he's just blinded by the... By the pussy, so... <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Dang. Now I want some udon noodles bad. 
can we all agree, we can all make this statement right here one time, correct, right? I'm going to need you guys to listen to me carefully. We all agree, ramen over pho, correct? Alright, just making sure. Just making sure. Oh, he says he's low on blood. I had a pet devil. I feel like he needs to not tell some information because I don't know if they can be trusted at the moment. I need to meet who she reports to. Yeah, see, he's a, he's a rare breed. Hmm. Yeah, he's literally in there. Yeah. He's, I mean, yes. I mean, we saw what he turned into. He is not human. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, think about your answer. Are you trying to get fed or He did not just bark. Stop it. I mean he's desperate for female attention, so if she told him to crawl on his on all fours and bark like a dog, he'd do it. Makima and Denji. Remember the names. He's trying to be the guy she likes. Does she like him like that or does she like him like a pet? Oh! That's you. That's you. <laughs> well, this is easy. I mean, the man didn't even have to go out and try to get a girl. The girl came to him. All he had to do was die one time. Well, this is all he ever wanted. So. Tokyo headquarters for the Devil Hunters. Okay, so it's a worldwide thing, I'm guessing. Possibly. Thousand Devil Hunters. But wasn't he like a Devil Hunter? Just not, I guess, official. Yes, very possible. A lot of people end up with who they work with. Possible. Calm down, bro. You're sweating. Yeah, cover that up. Now, is she going to let the others know what he is? I mean, two of the other guys that were on the ride with her did know. Aki? He wanted to shadow her. Makima, Aki, and Denji. I don't know her vibes yet. He's literally a dog. Tie his tie for him and pat him on the head and have him bark one more time before he leaves. I haven't tied a tie in a long ass time. Very, very Jujutsu Kaisen vibes. Does this guy speak? 
Uh, they're gonna go kill a devil. Okay. Don't make me pull these chainsaws out on you one time. Hey, you gotta put those cigarettes down. I tell Sanji all the time they'll kill you. Come on now. I guess we're just gonna be kicking ass every day I show up. I don't think he knows what we are, does he? He doesn't. He doesn't, and he doesn't know our background that we've also killed devils before. Oh. He doesn't know our background or what we've become. Oh, okay. Please punch him. Oh god. We just go in f free nut shots like that, bro? Oh god. Oh Jesus. Bro, he's never gonna have kids. Bro, he's not gonna get up for hours. Like he's literally gonna lay there. You might have busted them, low key. Wowzers. He doesn't know where we come from. He doesn't know our grind. Don't let me pull the unbutton this shirt. Bro, the way he got destroyed in the nuts, he'd be on the ground for a while. Jesus. And he's just leaving them open. My man's gonna have internal bleeding in a moment. Internal bleeding. He's breaking out in a full sweat, stomach cramp, heart is in his stomach, it's bad. It's real bad. Hmm. By the nut, devil. Hit him in the nut. He's going to hit you in the nuts again. <laughs> he got attacked by the nut, devil. Why do I have an experimental unit when we're out here facing life and death? Now he knows. Dang, so it really is that rare. Mm. Special treatment. Kill him. Yep. Any moment they think he's gone off the edge, he's they're gonna kill him. Very uh, jujutsu vibes here. They're just using you, bro. The moment they think they can't use you or control you, um, they're taking your ass out. Is she, though? Is she? Does she just have a bunch of guys barking for her, or like, what's up here? It seems a little too good to be true. The first girl he ever interacts with? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's like, I haven't even got to hug her. He's just mixing shit together. I mean, this is what happens when you... <laughs> when you're eating scraps. Or not eating at all. Oh yeah, he doesn't take showers either. Bro, that would be the worst. Having someone random just move into your place with you? No, 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 no. That would be the worst. No toilet paper. Sweet. So how do they announce... So how do they deal with the public with this? Are the police know that there's devil hunters, but the public doesn't know that there's things such as devils? Or like, are we all pretty... When a devil takes control of a human corpse. So that's like what the guy from last episode turned into. I don't know if I need to turn into a devil for this. I think I can just handle this as is. About to say, I don't think me turning is needed for this. Yeah, that could have been you. Ouch. Mm. What's that got to do with me? That's great and all, but like... That just sounds like revenge. Have you tried to? Yeah, exactly. You don't know the... So, like, what are we... Have you tried to see if a fiend could turn... Like, if we tried experiments of, like, turning them back to humans, can they be used like he's being used? Does it always just have to be kill, kill? I mean, I get most of them probably just need to be killed. And how do you even 100% kill... A devil, by the way. How do you kill a devil? Like, behead? Well, some of them didn't even have heads. Like, they were just kind of mass. <laughs> okay, the porn is secured. This literally was his dream. Yep. He's got a girl. Yeah, or he thinks he has a chance at a girl. He still needs a friend. Yeah, he needs some friends. Yeah. <laughs> there, he's on some revenge shit for sure. I mean, we know what he wants in his life. I feel like he needs one or two good friends, and then he'll be good to go. Well, there's a new dream.
Everybody's got to be drunk off something, you know. So if that's his, then oh. He's got a girl now that he's going to be stuck with twenty four seven. Oh, she's just like him. They have the same shoes. What are you? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. The guys over here are saying we just kill all devils, all fiends. And they've got one just working with them. Yeah, the higher ups don't want this shit at all. Good luck. Y'all can come after us come after us if you want, I tell you good luck. We're definitely gonna kill a handful of you. Oh, so the horns are they're not like for show. That she was like a girl cosplaying or something like no, she has horns. Was she trying to get her why did she just do the sneak attack? <laughs> and slap us at the back of the head. Because they know what Division 4 is. They probably smell her, don't they? Mm-hmm. Yeah, ask your dude. He did it on purpose, but hey, you get to be around a girl, though. Yeah, he did. She smells something. But can she? I know they said she's rational, but like she's very like blood hungry. Can she even be trusted around humans? Oh God. The Sea Cucumber Devil. Oh god. She just hit us with that blood demon art. Okay, she's a little unhinged. I'm curious the limits. Oh, that's it? Damn. I'm curious the limits of uh the bo I mean there's a ton of questions that I have. Um I'm curious the limits of Denji's body at the moment. You see how she just like jumped off essentially like a 15 10 story building. Um granted she is mixed, but same with him like does his chainsaw need to be activated for him to do that? Uh, TBD. There's a lot of questions here, and again, I mean, strong, strong, I said at the beginning of the episode, even more after this, very strong, strong, strong. I just feel like I'm, I don't want to say that I am, and not that it's a bad thing, but a lot of parallels to Jujutsu Kaisen. I feel like I'm going to keep saying that for a while, unfortunately, I'll probably have to stop saying it. Um... But, you know, them taking him in, the higher-ups, you know, don't agree with this. They'll look to kind of kill you off and get rid of this division at any moment. You know, him trying to have to fit in. Uh, I'm very curious kind of how it goes because it seems that, like... Well, what's the difference between him and a fiend? Is a, does a fiend have superhuman abilities 
but they don't fully turn into a devil per se like he does like he has he has multiple forms do the fiends just kind of stay in that one form like her with the little horns she's not gonna sprout up into a bigger form or lesser form like that's just what she is but he can actually change but you say that and say maybe that's the difference but like she's over here wielding blood magic and shit <laughs> That seems pretty up there. So again, I don't know what the difference between what she is, what power is as a fiend, and what he is. Um, because she seems to have super human strength, superhuman speed, otherworldly abilities, uh, heightened senses. Uh, I don't know what the difference between them and like when he's in his human form. I think he's just straight up human, correct? I don't think he's jumping off that building and surviving if he doesn't have if he's not fully transformed. So maybe that's the difference. It's like, but I mean, I kind of would prefer the fiend mixture, no? Because at least I'm kind of like always on Super Saiyan mode. Um, like it's it's just on. For him, it looks like it's off, on, off, on. I don't know the difference. I'm sure you guys will kind of explain that. Um. But pretty solid stuff. I mean, again, he's just going with his group. I don't know what to make of Mikami um, yet. Again, I can't really tell where her headspace is as far as, like, does she see him as something she wants to save and actually, I don't know, befriend and work with? Or is it just straight up, like, like she said, like, you're damn near a dog. Like, I'm your own. Like, he had an owner. Now he has another owner, essentially. Um, we'll just kind of wait to see with that, and I'm curious, you know, surely we'll see more higher-ups, or like who she reports to, or somebody within this, um, devil hunter agency type stuff, um, because it looks like they've just got all types of devil hunters, because Denji was a de was essentially an, uh, just a, a devil hunter for hire, essentially, um, just getting paid under the table. But the government also has theirs as well. Um, but there, I mean, you could just kind of be one freely. So we'll kind of see. I still don't know what the what the devils are or do or what it is that they want, um, and how well known is it to the public? It seems like the police have a general understanding of it. That's why they call in, you know, the devil hunters. Um, but I don't know if it's a very public thing. And then again, is it is it kind of like a a One Punch Man mob psycho Jujutsu Kaisen demon slayer type thing where they just respond to incidents? At least in I would say Demon Slayer and uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, there seems to be at least a hierarchy of the demons and the parasites kind of forming ranks and trying to achieve a goal of some type of thing. Um, so I don't know if it's going to be that, where we start seeing devils that actually have a plan for like takeover, what they're trying to do, or is it going to be more like a mob psycho where it's just one-off stronger devils that we just have to go exterminate type thing. I don't know, he's a teenage boy. <laughs> And he's got teenage boy focuses, um, so I'm sure that'll be an ongoing theme uh, as we go. But it's been solid so far, so we'll see how it goes. I appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, and subscribe, as always.